Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over the 12 major bossing links that you will need for basically any bossing circumstance. Now keep in mind these are the links that I personally use and it's going to be different for every class depending on what link you have. So for example, my um, current link is basically max HP plus 15% which is kind of uh, useless for me. But I guess the second part, which I didn't even know they added, the damage increases by 4% per morph gauge stage. I had no idea they actually added this, but I guess it's a nice little bonus. But yes, so it's going to depend on uh, what class you are and what links you already have as your existing link. So first we're going to go into uh, Demon Slayer, which gives boss damage. I have mine at 210. All the important links that I have are basically already maxed out at level 3 if possible. And now we also have a clan, uh, a Luminous, I was about to say Clan Luminous. Uh, we have a Luminous link skill which gives me extra IED. I think this is pretty useful for many bossing scenarios. And damage percent, obviously, extremely important. Kana, Kinesis for crit damage, unfair advantage for uh, classes that inflict statuses which I think most classes nowadays do inflict some sort of status for their bossing skill. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong here though, but yeah, and also for, you know, if you're higher level than the boss, it's definitely useful. And Spare Freedom, extremely useful link skill, extremely, especially if you lag and if you play Maple Story, you will lag once you respawn and this prevents the double death from happening so you don't respawn and die right away. Extremely useful. For many scenarios. Arc Link, which is basically similar to Lumi, but you have to be just basically battle stance, meaning whenever you attack and it stacks up to five times, it's quite useful because it'll be continually continuously active as long as you're attacking. A B Link is going to be based on class, very based on class, because for A B Link, uh, it is useful if you have a CD reset skill and buff duration. So for Kaisers, we have this for CD reset to reset the uh, cooldown for most of our skills that are not hypers and not fifth jobs. So we can reset the AB link. And I also have buff duration, which basically gives me uh, 20 seconds of AB link because I have uh, basically over 100% buff duration, which doubles this essentially. So I have a full 40 second. AB link, which is the entirety of my two minute burst. So it's extremely useful for classes like the Kaiser when we have buff duration and also CD reset. And then we have the Mage link, the Explorer Mage link, and this is basically a uh, some of a burst type link because there's a, a cooldown and you get some IED and damage boost every 10 seconds. And I think the cooldown is like 20 seconds or something like that. Same thing for deep link. So once you debuff enemy, you get 18% damage, uh, 10, per 10 second duration, 20 second cooldown. So just similar to the mage link, and this is just explore deep link. And lastly, we have the beast tamer link. I max this out because I needed every bit of crit rate I can get to max it to 90 without sharp eyes. So extremely good for bossing if you need the crit rate as well as the nice little 10% boss damage. Also quite useful for, I guess, Demon Avengers as well. Is it Demon Avengers or Demon Slayers? Whatever the one that gives HP, the class that barely anybody plays. So yeah, 5% extra HP, so nice little damage boost. And then let me see if there are other links. Okay, so Hyper Logic is a good uh, other choice for classes that need an extra slot. So let's say you are resistance, then you probably don't need a resistance here because it'll be a resistance main link skill. So you might consider a Xenon link for your 12th slot. And then uh, close call is somewhat useful. I don't really use it much, but it's definitely a viable option. It prevents you from getting one shot if it only is a 10% chance. So Depends if you want to play with that. I usually don't. Uh, Tie of the Battle is quite useful for classes that move a lot while they're attacking. So I think WoW Hunters would use this quite a bit because they move quite a bit when they're attacking, right? Somebody correct me in the comment section. But whatever class that moves quite a bit, this can be pretty useful. 
And then let's scroll down. Okay, so for those classes that are desperate on stance and a knee stance, Night's Watch, Mihao Link, definitely useful because it gives you 110 stance from getting knocked back into more trouble and uh, into your death, essentially. I think this is quite useful for classes like Night Lords, I believe, but you know, check what works best for your class. Explore, explore what is this called? Warrior Link, there we go. Warrior Link is pretty useful as well. It is good for recovery, uh, HP recovery, but it only activates every 360, 70 seconds. So it, I think it gets lower as uh, you stack them on top of each other, but I personally don't use it. You can use it if you want more survivability and you can just replace one of the damage links, I guess. Uh, there's also a cane link that I am not going to cover because I don't have a cane, but you can also use that as your 12th slot or whatever that you need to swap out of. Uh, I heard it's pretty useful, but it's literally a worse version of Thief Link, so I don't use it. Noble Fire is extremely useful for if you go into six man parties because it gives you 4% boss damage. And then you can also get 8% extra for, uh, I guess, the whole party. And it's quite useful if you're going GPQ. You can basically replace this and replace Light Wash. And yeah, you can add this in because you're going to be in a full party. But in other scenarios, not so much. And yeah, so that's basically my 12 bossing links. I usually just run with whatever setup I have here right now and I don't really change it at all. In fact, I haven't changed this in quite a long time. So this is pretty much set in stone for me. And I think it's set in stone for most other players with the exception of maybe like one or two. But yeah, test what works out, what works best for you and uh, that's it. Be sure to subscribe if you got value from this video, hit that like button if you liked it, and uh, if you disliked it, also hit that like button, and uh, yeah, that'll be it. I'll see you guys in the next video.